Hello friends, I am Dr. Ankur. Welcome to BLK Pediatric Practice. Today I will be talking about positive pressure ventilations during neonatal resuscitations. We all know that only 3% of infants would require positive pressure ventilation and most of the baby would remain well. So we all know that before delivery, we follow all these guidelines that we have to do antenatal counseling, ask for questions before resuscitation to prepare a team and team briefing is required and equipment check, check should be done. And equipment check should be done on the basis of T, A, B, C, D. T means temperature. So for temperature, you have to keep the uh, OT temperature in the range of 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, warmer output maximum at least 20 to 30 minutes before you need a two to three pre-warm linen, especially for preterm infants, you need a plastic wrap, thermal mattress, cap, socks. For airway positioning, you would require a shoulder roll and suctioning with a two catheter, 10 and 12 French catheter. For breathing, you would all need oxygen blender, tubing, resuscitation apparatus in form of bag and mask or TPC resuscitator, pulse oximeter for heart rate monitoring, you need a stethoscope. For intubation, 2.5, 3.5 French endotracheal tube walking laryngoscope with two sizes. For drugs, normal saline and adrenaline, we have to prepare adrenaline in a form of that, first take 9 ml normal saline and then add 1 ml adrenaline to make it 1 is to 10,000. We are doing this just to avoid over dilutions. At the time of resuscitation, we generally ask one question, irrespective of gestational age, whether the baby is breathing or crying. If the baby is breathing and crying, the answer is yes, that baby would go for delayed cord clamping for 60 seconds and would continue for routine care over mother's abdomen and start breastfeeding as soon as possible. If the answer is no, that baby qualifies for initial steps. So initial steps would be done under warmer care. Like in this case, baby was born, was not breathing, cut, immediately cord was cut, clamped, initial steps were started, putting under warmer, drying, removing wet linen, putting warmer probe, suctioning of airway if required, first mouth, then nostril. Tactile stimulation were done in form of rubbing of soles, thorax and abdomen and no flicking is allowed. Even after that, baby was not breathing, positive pressure ventilation was started. After five breaths, asked for rising heart rate. If the rising heart rate was there, the ventilation should be continued for 30 seconds. If the rising heart rate was not there, you ask for chest rising. If the chest is rising, then again, you have to continue the positive pressure ventilation for 30 seconds. Look at this, how to monitor the positive pressure ventilation. The best way is the heart rate assessment. The gold standard is ECG as per the American Academy of Pediatrics guideline. However, the National Neurology Forum 2019 guideline suggests that in India, we should follow heart rate monitoring by using auscultations because it's one of the reliable and the fastest method. Looking at the scenario three, when the baby was not breathing, cord was clamped immediately, baby was put under warmer, started initial steps by drying, removing wet linen, suctioning if required, first mouth, second nostril, by putting tube in the mouth five centimeter, in nostril three centimeter. Still baby was not breathing after tactile stimulations. Someone asked for attaching pulse oximeter. The moment positive pressure ventilation was started, heart rate monitoring was started. After five breaths, asked for rising heart rate. Heart rate was not rising. Then again asked for whether chest was rising or not. The chest was not rising. So call for help. Someone was started positive pressure ventilation and the main resuscitator changed the mask adjustment by putting two hand techniques and positioning of the neck airway and then ask for chest rise after five inflation. So if after five inflation, chest was rising, then positive pressure ventilation was continued for 
30 seconds as part of ventilation corrective steps. Looking at the scenario fourth. So once you have completed the MR, now the scenario fourth, baby was not breathing, cord was clamped immediately, initial steps was started under warmer, suctioning only if required, mouth then nostril, tactile stimulations, still not breathing, positive pressure was started, someone was attached, attaching pulse oximeter, the moment positive pressure was started, heart rate monitoring was started. After five breaths, heart rate was not rising, even chest was not rising, so call for help. First MR was done, mask adjustment and repositioning. Five breaths were given, still chest was not rising. Second component of ventilation corrective steps were done in form of suctioning of the airway and opening of the mouth. Look at the opening of the mouth. Use your one finger to open the mouth, do suction. Again, restart by putting mask, making seal properly. Five breaths was given, then again asked for whether chest was rising, yes, now chest was rising, then you have to complete the positive pressure ventilation. After even SO, if the still chest was not rising, then you have to follow the PA component. P means increase the pressure and A means alternative, either intubations or LME. Which f I2 to start? The new guidelines suggest that if the infant is 32 weeks or more than 32 weeks, start room air resuscitation. For target saturation for term or preterm infants, it, it, it remains same. So to conclude this, if the baby is not breathing and crying, that baby would go for positive uh, initial steps. And after initial steps, if the still baby was not breathing, positive pressure ventilation was started. After five breaths, ask for rising heart rate. If the answer was yes, positive pressure ventilation was completed for 30 seconds. If the answer was no, then look for chest rise. If the chest was rising, then again, we have to complete the positive pressure ventilation for 30 seconds. Yes, if the chest was not rising, then you go for ventilation corrective step, first MR, second SO, and third PA. After giving five breaths, the moment the chest was rising, the answer is yes. Then from there, you have to complete the positive pressure ventilation for 30 seconds because that is the steps of effective positive pressure ventilation. To conclude, so effective ventilation is the key and rising heart rate is the most important method to know the efficacy of ventilations by auscultations and followed by looking at the chest rise. ECG is applicable only if during the chest compression or when you want to discontinue resuscitation, start room air resuscitation for infant 32 weeks or more than 32 weeks. Thank you for listening.